Hi friends, welcome back again to engineering tutorial. Uh, in my earlier video, I discussed with you all about uh, semiconductor diodes, the basic method of fabrication of semiconductor diodes, the schematic representation, the methods of biasing a semiconductor diode and its equivalent circuit. In this video, I am going to discuss with you all some of the basic applications of semiconductor diodes. So we are going to discuss each of these applications in detail in separate videos. So let's just first have a quick overlook over some of the important applications of semiconductor diodes. Now the first uh, basic application of semiconductor diodes is to use them as rectifiers. Now a rectifier is a circuit which converts AC supply into DC form. Next comes clipping circuit or clippers. Now the clippers are used to remove or cut out specific portions of the input signal waveform. So that's clippers. Then will be clampers. The clamping circuit is used to elevate or increase the amplitude or voltage level of a signal waveform. And at last we have voltage regulators. Voltage regulators are used to maintain a constant voltage in a circuit so that uh, the voltage in the circuit does not exceed certain maximum value. So <clears throat> we are going to discuss each of these applications separately. Now let's first discuss rectifiers. Now a rectifier is an electronic circuit which converts AC voltage or current signal into DC voltage or current. So AC signal waveform into DC signal waveform conversion is achieved through the use of rectifiers. So why do we require rectifiers? So why DC waveform or signal is required? Uh, we know that many uh, appliances or devices require DC signals for their operation. But we have power supply in the form of AC which is uh, parameterized as 230 volt and 50 hertz which are the basic parameters of AC supply in India. So in order for the safe and sound operation of the various appliances and devices which we have in our house, we need rectifiers to convert this power supply into DC form and then it is fed to these devices and appliances. Now almost all of these devices have inbuilt rectifying circuits. So these are the reason for the use of rectifiers. Now there are generally two types of rectifiers that are primarily used in electronic circuits. Half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier. We are going to discuss the two of these rectifiers separately. So Let's first discuss the half wave rectifier. Now, <clears throat> the half wave rectifier, as uh, the name implies, works only during the positive half cycle 
of the input AC signal waveform the positive half cycle now as we know that a signal waveform a full signal waveform consists of two half cycles a full signal waveform consists of two half cycles this one is the positive half cycle this one is the negative half cycle so as the half wave rectifier only works during the positive half cycle or half of the duration of the complete waveform it is called as half wave rectifier it means that there is no current conduction during the negative half cycle and uh, <coughs> there is only conduction during the positive half cycle now let us uh, uh, see the circuit diagram of a basic half wave rectifying circuit now the components that are used in this circuit are a transformer which can be step up or step down as per the requirements of the circuit ac supply voltage source a semiconductor diode and a load resistance rl across which the output voltage appears so this is the construction basic construction of a half wave rectifier circuit now let's first understand the working of a half wave rectifier now <clears throat> during the positive half cycle that is uh, this portion positive half cycle uh as i just showed you here the positive half cycle the end a of the secondary winding of the transformer becomes positive or attains positive polarity and the end b becomes negative or negative polarity as a result of which the diode d becomes forward biased as its p type is connected to the positive side or positive polarity end and the n type end is connected to the negative polarity end so it behaves as a short circuit and allows current to flow through it <coughs> during the positive half cycle the diode behaves as a short circuit and current flows through it the current passes through the load resistance in this direction from positive to negative as a result as this current flows only in one direction through the load resistance the input ac is converted into dc at the output this is the output voltage wave now let's discuss the negative half cycle during the negative half cycle the ends a and b of the secondary winding of the transformer become negative and positive respectively or at a negative and positive polarities respectively as a result the diode here uh, the diode let's just uh, let me draw it for you just for your understanding the diode which is uh, with its p type end connected to the negative end while the n type end connected to the positive end becomes reverse biased and is open circuited 
so it behaves as a open circuit so as it behaves as a open circuit no current flows through it and uh, the output voltage is zero as no current flows through the load resistance the output voltage is zero so this behavior is uh, just the opposite during the positive half cycle case so as this circuit is activated only during the positive half cycle this positive half cycle or it works only during half of the duration of the signal waveform that's why it is called as a half wave rectifier so it rectifies only half portion of the signal waveform now questions must be arising in your mind is the what is the necessity of a transformer in the circuit we just could have simply applied the voltage to the rectifying circuit well it has uh, some advantages now it permits to increase or decrease the input supply voltage as per the changes in the requirement sometimes we may require higher input voltage in that case we can use a step up transformer when we require a low voltage then the supply we can use a step down transformer another thing is that it isolates or separates the rectifying circuit from the power line so that there is no inherent danger or uh, possibility of uh, damage to the rectifying circuit so here we have discussed the working of a half wave rectifier now this is the input and output waveform of a half wave rectifier circuit so as you see this is the input signal waveform the positive half cycle negative half cycle again the positive half cycle so as we know that the half wave rectifier works only during the positive half cycle so during the positive half cycle it conducts and the output waveform is the same as that of the input waveform during the negative half cycle there is zero current flow as a result there is zero output voltage no output voltage again during the positive half cycle the diode becomes forward biased and conducts and hence the output uh, we get the output voltage nearly same as that of the input voltage now this is a pulsating dc, DC output so we have this a uh, pulsating dc output in order to uh, smooth it up to smooth or uh, filter it up it is passed through a uh, smoothing circuits or filtering circuits such as a smoothing capacitor to convert it into simple dc form so this is the basic uh, working of a half wave rectifier circuit now we are also going to discuss some of the other parameters of uh, the half wave rectifier circuit which is the output frequency of a half wave rectifier now what is the frequency of a signal waveform that is the number of waveforms passing through a certain point per second so in this case in half wave rectifier case the output frequency is same as that of the input frequency so how it happens let's see <coughs> this is the time domain this is the output voltage axis when the input signal voltage waveform completes one cycle this is one cycle of the input signal waveform at that time we also have one complete cycle of the output waveform when the input completes one cycle we also have one cycle of output waveform so 
both these input and output waveforms complete one cycle within the same time this time and this time are the same so within the same interval of time up to this up to this this we have one one cycles of waveforms of both the input and the output so the output frequency is the same as that of the input signal frequency so this is how the output frequency is the same as that of the input frequency now the efficiency of a half wave rectifier is uh, defined as the ratio between the dc output voltage or the output power and the ac input supply power now this ratio uh, this efficiency value is generally equal to 40.6% or 0.406 it is generally equal to that now uh, some of the disadvantages of half wave rectifier circuit are now extra circuitry is required because we get a pulsating dc output not a smooth or simple dc output so we require some of extra filtering and smoothing circuits to filter out the pulsating dc output and uh, wastage of input signal waveform takes place as the circuit only works during the positive half cycle both the half cycles of the input waveform are not utilized so it leads to unnecessary wastage of energy so these are the disadvantages of half wave rectifying circuit so here i have discussed with you some of the basic concepts of half wave rectifiers so i hope you like this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel to get uh, about more such uh, concepts of electronics engineering so have a good day thank you very much